We're coming back to the section for absolute valuation abstract valuation theory. We want to look again and do some notations where there are some mess. Especially the notation for Frobenius. Let's say in the general case we deal with we define D at the beginning, we fix D with a surjective group of morphies from an absolute Galois group of some local field K. And the kernel is IK, the fixing with fixing field uh, the P delta. This induces an uh, isomorphy like this. Uh, that's our situation. After that. may denote the element and as image one the Frobenius element and what the notation we use for this Then for a finite extension L over K, what do we have? As I said before that, we have uh, for uh, any field K, right? For any field K, what do we do? Do we look at the situation? Finite? No, we don't know. What we know is that And similarly, have some okay, kitude. How to define this kitude? Okay, now look at GK. What is GK? GK is only absolute Gala group. This is a subgroup. So we have the inclusion give you this map.
to recall this decay actually no Actually, we call we call decay the the map of D. Change the scalar by. Multiply by one over FK. with the kernel I can This should again be surjective because we have changed scalar. Why? Because By definition, Says degree FK so how about this Ten years. So we have this, but what is IK? Of course, it is intersection or I. If we call this I. With GK. We didn't know the fixing field. Right. 
things. This is the intersection two group. Fixing field should be is fixed by smaller group. So it's bigger, so it's the composite. Composite smaller K. Sorry, let me think. It's the fixing field of two. GK fixes K. And I fixes uh, K2. So it's this one. Very nice. Now let's look at GL. So exactly the same. Just notation. Required is to be finite. This is again this kernel IL. And hence we have similarly also this is. Now let's looking let's look back at this proposition which describes the relation between the different Frobenius element. Yes. Let's now look at it. Got what we said. Let's re look at it. If FK and FL are finite, then this inertial degree. equals FL over FK. GL is the absolute value group of L and GK is the absolute value group of K. So what is this map? It's 
This is inclusion. Okay. Yeah, there was this identity map. But also, you can say that where is file lines. File actually is lines in. Right? What is this group? This group is a quotient. Similarly, have this Read this kernel, the kernel is the kernel of this is I can the kernel of this is I am the kernel is inside here. So we have a map here.
We want to show them. The image of this map is far out reason to the public. Why? Because we have we have this map and this diagram we have this have this multiplication by f over k and hence to be mapped to f over k this is the generator of this group we have to reason to f over k now this map We use this notation for this map. That's why we have this. Okay. Actually, when you do this, of course, there should be an element of now this is a subgroup of right, and this is the generator of this group. So they measure this. Surely it's some power of this for me. So, mm. so now we look at this lemma again. Because last time the notation was not very clear. So, find sigma the element of the semi group. Drop. This is a semi group because we define to be those elements with positive. Valuation, but actually, to form a group, we have to include all the negative valuation and the zero valuation also. So let's take probably sigma in this semi group such that Frobenius has image one and our decay. And we uh, just recall what is decay, decay is. 1 over a scale of d and uh, so it's map from k to it over k to z hat and this gives the isomorphism and so phi is the element that map to one so it is the forbidden element of this group and suppose sigma of course uh, finds the element of uh, so this is a subset of uh, if you want a subset group of uh, v l theta over k 
yes and uh, so where is it? I have the cushion map with the reduction restriction map we map it here to G key total okay so probably is actually here but we will do the restriction to this group and it's map to one and now sigma is also in this group sigma is here and we map it to n and the variation until it's n this is dk so also do the restriction then the image is n so this tells us that by this isomorphism that uh, phi we restrict to k12 and the reason to the power n is equal to sigma restrict to k12 this is natural if if sigma is the fixing fixed field of small sigma so this is actually the group this one this group and the element of the output and it's fixing big sigma so it's in this group And if small a is in a sigma, a sigma should be body a fixing by the uh, group g sigma. g sigma should be the absolute value group of sigma. Small is in this A sigma. We clean the following relation. The first operation is you point a long map directly to A sigma. We should have a map from A sigma by the small map to A k. So I put a question here. Well, this is RMFI. Do we have this? If it's not, what do we know? I'm not sure. Sure, let's see. And uh, the other operation is here. You first apply phi n, phi n is by our definition before phi n a is actually phi to the power i prime into a, then you take the product the i from 0 to n minus 1. Uh, when phi is a generator of a cyclic group, of order n, this is just the norm of that bigger field to the subfield who has the Gala group, this uh, order n Gala group generated by this file as a cyclic group, so for the RMA file case, for example. And then you apply the norm. So this norm here should be some norm. Uh, two step norm. So this size is the norm from Casadendo field extension. So our case, so that line should be. As what we are looking at, sigma 0 and k with sigma 0 ramified. And this one totally ramified. Let's look at the proof. Uh, so we define sigma 0 in this way. And it, it is of degree n, suppose, so this has degree n. And this color group is generated by the Frobenius automorphism. Because this is RMFI, so this is a cyclic, cyclic color group generated by Frobenius element phi, sigma 0 over k. So this phi, sigma 0 over k, so border is generated this group. 
And we claim that uh, this is also the Robinis element of uh, k two tau over k fixing restriction to field C one zero. More precisely, we claim that we have this group k two tau over k. Let's reject. I should want to do to the hat for the DK and for the element of 5K. We do the restriction to, to, uh, to sigma 0. To sigma 0, yes, to sigma 0. So, which means that we map this by the restriction to sigma 0. Okay. That's the cyclic group we were talking about. And we say that uh, this is again give you the generator. Why this is true, this is the restriction map. We need to see for the restriction map this. The generator is always mapped to generator again from this cyclic group because you are. And the Frobin is now fixing the same field. In other words, we have seen that what is important is the fixing field. So this obvious that when you do the quotient map, uh, your generator is still generated, right? This is obvious. So the generator of this cyclic group, so the generator of this procyclic group, when you do the restriction, you do the quotient map, you do the restriction, still the generator. The problem is when you do the injection, sometimes it change because here you say fixing L and here you fix K. For example, let's look at the trivial case of finite extension FP. Finite field, sorry, FPN. FPN. The sigma here is you map x to x to power p. But the Galois group here is you. I just give you the Galois group. But the Galois group here you have to fix. Fixing that even here, so you have to map x to the x power p to the n. And if you call this sigma prime, then of course this is some power of sigma p. What power? It's exactly the power of the fixing field. See? Uh, no, can I say that? Some power, like in this case, is the power q to the power n. Sorry, q to the power n. Actually, we know this as cardinality. N. We know it should different by. Should different by this. And in this case, because this is
Uh, sorry, this is not the local film case, so this you know, there is no inertia degree. And you just need an example to show you that uh, well, the fixed field is the same, it's just still the restrictions actually, it's still the generator, so we, we know that through decay this is still mapped to one. So and moreover, we can do other restriction. The Frobenius, when you first restrict to Q12 and then to epsilon Z. All the Frobenius is the generator of this group. And we restrict the epsilon Z. Okay.